Hi there guys, welcome back to the Farinet channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can dual mine Radiant and Zilliqa either on HiveOS or Windows. Okay guys, so recently I made a video on just purely how to mine Radiant Coin. Now, quite a few of you have enjoyed that video and gone ahead and, you know, requested that I do a video on how to mine Radiant and Zilliqa. Now, I'm a big fan of the dual pair together, so what I've decided to do is just go ahead and show you guys exactly how you can do this on Windows and HiveOS. So, let's just start with HiveOS to get things off on a good start. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and take yourself over to your HiveOS farm. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take ourselves over to our flight sheets. And once this loads up, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and either edit or go ahead and create ourselves our own flight sheet. So for this and sake, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll create one from new. So if we go ahead and we find the coin ticker RXD for Radiant Coin. Let's go ahead and if you haven't already created one, go ahead and download their individual wallet. I've done a video on how to mine this and how to create yourself a wallet, so go ahead and check that out. But all we're going to need to do is just go ahead for myself and select the wallet that I've created already. Then what we're going to need to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick our pull. So for this instance, we're going to use Viper.net. Now they don't actually have any Europe pulls if I'm correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and press on the southeast it won't make that much difference let's go ahead actually maybe just go down here and i'll just press on the pull go ahead and press apply and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the miner so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to be using bz miner so let me just go ahead and type this in then now because we're using zillica at the exact same time we need to click on the dual coin ticker as well okay so press on zil Make sure you've gone ahead and you've created yourself a Zill wallet. I've used Binance for my Zill wallet. So go ahead and click on the wallet. Now it is going to say to configure in the miner. But let me just go ahead and set this to crazy pull. And because I'm in EU, I'm going to press on EU. But if, like I say, you can go ahead and press on any of your options for yourself. And then you are able to go ahead and set up the intensity. But I will not be doing that just for this instance sake. Okay, so let's go on the wallet template. So let's go ahead and press the wallet for the most of the pulls. Let's go ahead and name this. And then for the pull URL, URL let's just go ahead and pop in that in there already. And that should be fine. And let's move over on to the second coin. So Zilt, wallet templates. Let's just go ahead and fill that in there with this. You can go ahead and do the exact same on there as well and go ahead and pop in the URL there. Okay, let's go ahead and apply changes. And if we go ahead and we name this, so let's put RXD plus Zill. Like I say, guys, I'm already aware that I do have one of these prior a little bit below there, uh, but if you're not interested in setting up any CPU mining, I'm just gonna show you exactly how to set the dust up just for your setup. So go ahead and press on the create flight sheet. So now, as you can see, this flight sheet has been created. So what we need to do is if we take ourselves to the top of our screen, click on the rig of choice, open that rig up. Let's take ourselves to the flight sheets. And if we just press on this little rocket right here, the update or the worker has updated successfully. So if we give this uh, a little bit of time, it should go ahead and fully set us up onto the pool correctly. Okay, so now that we're successfully set up correctly, let's go ahead and take a little look over onto the mining pools and let's see uh, that everything's working and see how it's going. So if we take a look over onto Viper.net for our Radiant Mining, as you can see here, we've been mining for a fair few couple of days now on a couple of uh, GPUs just to see how things are going and to see exactly how much, you know, that I could earn. So as you can see right now, um, we have unpaid 22 RXD, so that's worth one cent. And then we've also got 19 cents in the immature. And then you can also see uh, the daily payments that we've been paid as well. So let's take ourselves over to the Zill pool as well. And as you can see on the crazy pool here, uh, we've got an eight. 8.2 unpaid and then a total of 10 zil being paid so at this specific moment i would really say that if you're going to be mining radiant right now i would say the most profitable way to do it would be to add a little bit of silica to your mining now it doesn't do any harm to get this set up and i would also recommend everybody if you are currently mining radiant at the moment go ahead and throw zilliqa on there it's not going to do any harm and like i said i'll go ahead now and i'll show you guys for those of you that are on windows how you can actually go ahead and set this up on your windows pc as well 
Okay, so if we want to go ahead and mine this on Windows, the first thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and grab ourselves a miner. So the miner of choice today is BZ Miner. So take yourself to bzminer.com. I will be leaving a link for you guys down in the description. So all you need to do is go ahead and click on this link right here. It will go ahead and start to download the most up-to-date version and it will fit itself into wherever your download location is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up this file. Let's take ourselves to our desktop. Let's go ahead and drag and drop this to the desktop. And then let's go ahead and open up the folder. So what we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to go in here and we're going to need to create a new text document. Call this whatever you like. So we're going to call this Radian plus Zil. Let's go ahead and open up this text document. And... What we're going to need to put in there, guys, is exactly this. So feel free to go ahead and pause the video and just take a look at this. I'm more than happy, uh, and I'll throw this, guys, for you in the description box below. But all you need to do is go ahead and copy this, throw ahead uh, your wallet addresses in there to go ahead and get this changed over and start to mine this for yourself. Now, if we go ahead and we press Save... And then we go ahead and we press save as. In lowercase, put dot bat. Press enter. Now if we go ahead and we double click on this bat file now. We should now be successfully mining Radian and Zill on Windows. So as you see there guys, it wasn't that hard to set up. And... Like I said, I do appreciate those of you that have gone ahead and reached out and asked for, uh, you know, certain video requests to be gone ahead and shown. But like I say, when it comes to mining, guys, I really do um, recommend, you know, if, if, if you have a cryptocurrency that is your big fan, I always recommend dual mining with Zillica on the side. Just purely because, you know, during the ETH days, um, there was, you know, two individual moments where, um, as you know, Zill did pump and I was able to, you know, you know, profit from that a lot more, um, you know, than I would have done if I, you know, if I never even minded at all, so... Okay guys, so there you have it. You should be now successfully mining Radiant and Zillica at the exact same time. As you can see, I've gone ahead and jumped myself over onto the pool just to make sure that everything has gone ahead and connected itself up successfully. And thankfully it has done, which is great. So all I need to do now is just wait, you know, give or take 24 hours and allow the statistics to start to roll in sort of thing. And obviously uh, the crypto start to come through as well, right? So I'll see you guys in the next video and make sure to leave us a comment and make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.